Alright, what is up guys? Professor Akala here bringing you a new video of the freest first blood you've ever seen. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously though guys, this is going to be a video of the Predator Ultra Roam Akali mid build. This is actually a build that I personally have come up with on my own. It's going to be a different way of playing Akali uh, against champions that you don't think you can beat mid lane. I have a... Oh wait, I'm top lane. Okay, well, that works too. Uh, anyways, so... Uh, what I was saying is that this is going to be a way to get fed, but at the same time, uh, you can still have a huge impact. Uh, the reason being is that Predator is, honestly, in terms of damage, it's a scuffed version of Electrocute. It does damage, it does burst, but it doesn't do the same amount. But with these Predator boots, uh, well, with Predator Keystone uh, and the boots, you're actually able to just go and roam around. And actually, I'm pretty sure... No, he didn't. Um, but they're stealing that. Wow, his auto attack range is as much as my freaking... That's crazy. That's crazy. His auto range is as high as my uh, my passive auto range. It's so dumb. Anyways, go ahead and drop a Q. We're going to have to hit two as, as quickly as possible. Don't want him to flash on top of me and try anything funny. Head him out, drop a ward, prop predator, and we're actually just gain a lot of room on, move on him. Nice, and the Q is actually going to kill him with the predator bonus uh, damage. And now he has no TP. Here, actually, it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna push. It's gonna push. Don't even bother. I I, I understand what he's trying to do, but the the thing is, like, his wave is still bigger. Crazy enough, even though we killed him. Uh, and actually, really quick, I'm gonna. See if just make sure that this video isn't gonna be corrupted. I want to make sure I have enough room on the computer since I've been struggling out here. Uh, oh, we're good. Yeah, cool. So no problems here. Then I mean, it's no no harm done. We're just waiting and letting the wave push. So yeah, guys, uh, we're pretty much pulling a uh, Hashinshin, I guess, which is what you would say when you just wait. You kill him and you wait for him to come back and kill him again. Uh, he's probably gonna wait until this minion. Yeah, I, I would do that. Just like wait until this next minion here. Damn it. Oh my god. And on top of getting this camp, we got the first blood level one. So beautiful. Anyways, let's go ahead and shove this in now. Uh, he's he's gonna be gone for a little bit longer than he uh, than he thought. If he doesn't rage quit, that'd be, that'd be pretty nice, because as much as I love when they rage quit, at the same time, you know, we're trying to make a video out here. And I'll let you guys know right now that there have been so many videos you can't even imagine. I can't even count how many videos uh, I've cancelled because people just rage quit and it's like, you know, you can't show a 4v5. Uh, it's just lame. Let's go ahead and keep shoving this in. And he's actually still here. I don't think he's gonna fight me though. I, I really don't think that'd be a good idea at this point. He's probably gonna be like, no, 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 I need I need levels. It's time to start farming. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop the E. Go into the second brush. I wanna go in the first one. He's, like, there's really no chance of him doing anything other than farm, but still. So yeah, at this point, we are going to go for the, uh, I'm going to go for the bilge water, and then also, hmm. Yeah, we can't really get anything else. You're going to have to just go for the bilge water and head back to lane. Uh, another cool thing about Predator is you can use it to get back to lane very quickly. It's kind of like, it's not as good as teleport in terms of like, you know, teleporting back to lane to get the farm, but it is pretty freaking good, to be honest. Uh, you definitely can't sleep on that option uh, if you're behind especially uh, even if you're not behind but we didn't do that so we're gonna hit level six and we're going to use predator to go straight to bot lane um let's go ahead and do this actually guys i uh honestly i thought i was mid for this i wanted to do the grasp build which i think i'm going to post on my main channel um but predator is another video that i wanted to make because i do think this build is solid let's go ahead and... all right just gonna hold him hostage. We're gonna freeze that, freeze him up with the uh, sp the spinning lasso passive thingy. And he's actually recalling, which is crazy. See, he shoved again, and we're literally just using the maximum amount. This is everything I know about uh, wave management. And actually, at this point, we need to like kind of like trim the wave, if that makes sense. Like, we don't want too many more. 
We don't want them to have way too many more minions because they already have a cannon on us, and that is like the power of like an entire wave on its own. So I'm just gonna actually clear out this much, and I'm gonna bring it back a little bit. Damn it, that one minion's ruining everything. Come on, stupid wave. Don't you dare. Here's the thing, we're about to hit six and kill him. He's dead. That is the power of being powerful. <laughs> I don't know. That's just the power of a Kali. You guys already know. You know, you've seen if you've seen the videos, you know that a Kali can do some pretty stupid things. You uh you can jump over fog of war, hit him with a stun, land a mark that no matter where they go, you'll fly right to them. <laughs> I love it. Uh so yeah, at this point, we're gonna shove the wave in, obviously. Because he's just coming up, he's gonna miss this entire wave. Uh, and this also gives us a chance to recall, pick up whatever we can. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to get, probably just pick up like a revolver. Uh, but maybe we go for sword boots instead. Wow, he actually he keeps getting to lane really quickly. And at this point, I mean, I can't dive him without any summoners or predator, because the predator would be useful. Another cool thing you can do on a Kali specifically to guarantee the Predator damage is if you throw your E and you hit, uh, hit them with the first part, you can actually cast Predator and fly at them and guarantee the uh, the second part of Predator damage. You're pretty much like, you know, it's kind of like, it sounds cheesy, but you're turning a Kali into a Predator missile because you're literally flying into them with the Predator buff damage. So yeah, 58 CS to 25. We have been freezing pretty well and it looks like, hold on. One, two, three, four versus this. Yeah, okay, so it's actually going to start shoving us, shoving into us. Uh, but really, the only useful thing about it shoving into us is that we can, we can freeze it until our ult's up. Because once our ult's up, you know, we might as well kill him at this point. We've got a nice little lead. So I'm actually just going to, like, run at him. <sighs> yeah, we're still squishy. I can't take two people on. Vi, also, one of the champions that does a lot of damage. And also, Garen has just some crazy base stats on his own. So, that was a mis uh, mistake by me for sure. I should have warded. And I'm going to pay for it. But, here's a cool thing. I don't think I'm going to miss too much CS. You know why? Because we got Predator. I'm going to use my W as well to just fly through. And now we're at 500 movement speed for 15 seconds. Like... It's not that bad. I think we're actually going to get to the cannon. Please, at least get the XP. No, it's not looking too good. It's so close, though. Wait, well, yeah, we were going to get the XP. Oh, we didn't. Okay, just on the edge. Well, it was really close, at least. Alright. We are able to get enough CS to the point where we can actually just get a Gunblade right now, but I'm going to shove a wave just for the... You know, there's pretty much no reason not to. Like, even if Garen comes back, I have enough energy to just shove and go back. Cool. Um, just for the road. Take that one. Alright, so now we're going to go back and get a Gunblade, and at this point, it's time for some serious, serious pain. He's got... Can we swap his, please? I can roam and destroy. I can roam and destroy everyone if he lets me, but it's his lane, so. Can't force him. Well, I'm already near mid, so I'm, I'm committed to fighting. Here's the thing though, Garen doesn't have TP, so unless Zin dies early, should be able to win this easy. Thank you. Sweet. I didn't even know there was a... I wouldn't have flashed if I knew there was no turret there. That was actually a mistake by me. But whatever, it's not a very big deal. We still got a double kill. 
We only use Flash, not even... We'll use Flash and ult, but we didn't use Ignite, which is cool. So yeah, we're 6-1 and one now. We got uh, 4 out of 5 stacks on the Ravenous Hunter. I'm guessing the support needs to die still. Player name F9. I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, I just killed Zaya, and we just killed... Yeah, we, it's either Vi or Thresh. I don't remember. Uh, either way, we'll, we'll kill them all. So it's, it's, it's no big deal. Uh, so yeah, let's go for the turret, because once we've taken top lane, it'll just be a lot... We'll be, it'll be it'll be a lot better if we take top turret for that gold, because then we don't have to worry about taking it later. And to be honest, it shouldn't be too difficult unless unless Garen with the Spectre's Cal is really that OP, because uh, this is the number one counter to Akali. I don't think I mentioned that yet in this video. I don't, yeah, there's no way I did, but um, Garen actually counters Akali harder than anyone else in League of Legends, in my opinion. There's just really nothing you can do against him. We just uh, made a few good plays and got lucky, I guess. Plus, at this point, we have a, a bunch of sustain, which is good. Like, even without our empowered Q, we're healing up 160 with uh, spell vamp. Now, Lucian's here 5 and 1. This Garen with MR is gonna. Oh, never mind. Looks like Garen actually backed off. I'm gonna keep going for it. Well, mm, <laughs> that was a mistake. This is also a mistake. So I'm going to print it out of here. I'm going to go for a huge flank. Huge, huge, huge flank. Whew, yeah, that got the heart racing. Uh, not gonna lie, that that, that definitely um, that increased my blood pressure. <laughs> Whew. No, we can't. Damn it! I need, to, I need to wait for my energy to come back so I can get an empowered Q. Good healing. I didn't actually see what it healed me, but it was good. 179 on that one. Alright, um, I'm just gonna go back. Uh, I don't think I need to, but if I get ganked, I'm gonna regret it so bad. So difficult to take down a Garen who uh, is that tanky and then his passive just heals him up. Gra grasp, whenever he gets it off on me, heals it up. Obviously, I'm trying my best to not let him even uh, proc it, but, you know. This Q is a pretty quick animation. Nice. Happy to let Fiddle tank that. I don't know how happy he is, but... Oh god, you're so dead if you do Oh my god, I really hope I not there. Not missing that freaking cannon right there. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. I have to be a little careful, but I can. I'm looking at the mini map on top of this fight. Fly's not coming. Okay, good. So we're gonna go ahead and just take one more wave and head back. We're too low to really do anything. We might be able to roam. Actually, do have no. I have ult. You know what? We have predator, so we can do it. Got my W though. I'm gonna wait in the back, and just in case there's any wards in the river, but no, it looks like nothing's gonna happen here. Oh, this could be a fight. This could be a free kill. Excuse me! Oh my, why was I CC for so long? Dude, did Thresh even actually hook me? Like, I didn't see it coming at all. Did he just... Oh my, oh my, oh my. Yeah, exactly. That would, that Something like that hit me. It would have hit me. Oh my. I had too much gold. Oh, 
bot lane. Nice. Yes, please. Give me the LP. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, anyways. I was going to go for a Lich Bane for this build because it's so good mid lane, but we do want the movement speed from this build. Really, the whole point of this build is to be places at speeds you couldn't normally get. So, Predator, Lich Bane. Uh, I, I would have gone Dark Seal into Magi's for the movement speed, but you can't do it against a Garen. It's just not practical because when he presses R when you're the villain, he just, you know. It, Garen, Garen's ult or villain system is like a complete direct counter to Magi's because to get these kill streaks to have stacks on Magi's, you know, Garen's gonna shut you down. Go ahead and just keep doing this. I'll just tank right through it, I guess. I'll let him take it. Just kidding. I would never help a dragon. This is exactly why. No one ever helps me. But I'm doing it because it's Windrake. Not because I actually care about the, you know, speed for my team. It's literally just for me. Okay, now we're at 429 movement speed, which is good. Oh shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Holy crap. What? There's someone missing too, which is very scary. But I'm gonna ho okay, yeah, fine. I'm gonna push. A f I'll be back to full health soon. I'll I'll, I'll pray her over. Lag. Okay. Lagging. Weird. I never lag. I have Google Fiber. Okay. Uh, let's go back to bot lane. Unless Do they see me. There's no word here. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Uh, I'm gonna go take blue. Now this Fizz is a very greedy player, but hopefully he'll at least let me get blue with double his kills. He's not. I hate. I hate mid gold. <sighs> Sweet. Not even mad. I don't have a Mastery 7 to spam, or anything, but I would've. I really would've. Okay, so now we have the core build. I'm gonna go for definitely a double armor here. Just looking at their team comp, it's almost all AD, and their ADs are Fed or Garen, which he does true damage, so health will be better, but still almost all AD, except for an underfed AP. So yeah, at this point, we have 436 base movement speed. Uh, I wanna pop Predator soon and see what it turns into. But our ult is up as well. I'm gonna go and flank them. Our 538 movement speed. Yes, take that lantern. Oh! I think I would have died there. Dude, I legitimately think I was I was half a second from death. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Auto once. Heal up. Wow, he's so tanky with that W. Damn it. All that all that W did was make it so he, Lucian gets the kill instead of me. I guess it did save him a few seconds. That might help when we're sieging their base. Uh, let's go ahead and drop some Qs for the li Lich Bane procs. I tried to get one more Lich Bane. Oh god, I got caught out. That was definitely an int by Fiddle. And me, I suppose. I did not expect Fiddle to go in though. I'm gonna be... Be honest with you guys. I did not expect that even a little bit. I thought, yeah, we need to make sure that we have a ward. Ward, Baron, they rush. There's a good, pretty decent chance they'll rush it now. That was my fault. Got too greedy. Should have at least paid attention to their de uh, respawn timers. And Predator's down actually for a little bit too, so it's gonna be hard. 
Definitely gonna get there as fast as possible. Drop a ward, a buy a ward just in case. No. They're really not going for it, huh? I think that could've worked. He's so dead. What? Okay. <laughs> I bet Zaya's like, damn it, Vi, now I have to flash because you suck. Alright, got the Predators, I'm going in. I'm flying in. Yeah, well, let's go kill the stupid Orianna. Think she can be in this game. Yeah, we could probably take it. So just since mid shoving down uh, the lane, we'll be able to tell where they are, or if they don't even show up, then it'll build up enough to probably take out the Nexus right? There's a ward over there actually, but it's we have a red, uh, we have a control ward, so he can't even see us. I'm gonna tease them a little bit. Oh, never mind. I was kind of I was trying to attack it because then they would get vision of everything and see we're doing Baron, but it'd be too late. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I, I, I clearly don't use wards. I just end up selling them. I should probably not buy wards anymore. That would be a good tip, uh, a good investment idea for my gold. Okay, let's go ahead and... Um, yeah, okay, so Predator's on three now. Gotta make a mental note on that. But yeah, overall, I mean, things are going really well, guys. Uh, 12 and three, we're just all over the map, really. Like, we're running around everywhere. And the, the bonus movement, uh, bonus uh, damage actually is pretty useful too because it's how much is it? It scales uh, pretty well. So actually giving us 250 about damage, super super useful. Okay, they're gonna. They're gonna rotate through here. Fiddle. Oh, he's trolling. It's okay. We're gonna get the third or the second inhib, and it's not even gonna matter. Take that. And I'm actually gonna fight her over to top. They should all be there. But it's 4v4, so I don't really want to do anything. I'm just gonna be a part of this. One minion, damn it. Ah, uh, it took too long. I maybe they could have ended if I was there. I just I'm not sure about that. Because it was 4v4 and they have a Nexus turret. I think something could have went wrong, especially with Fiddle's ult being down. <clears throat> this is just the safer play, I suppose. Could have been wrong though. Alright. Yeah, it looks like it was wrong. Wait, I need to use the golden ult. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out the uh the damage charts, and also, uh, you guys are see, you guys will see. I think what are we getting? 30 LP a game right now. Uh oh. Um. Anyways, you guys will see we are getting 30 LP a win right now, so that's good. I'm going to drop all this stuff. And yeah, as you guys can see, the damage charts, 18,000, and actually Zaya. Oh, she did so good too. Unfortunately, Zaya could not 1v5 <laughs> pretty much. Just looking at these charts. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this. 19-1, and one, had to lose a game. This feels so bad. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a new one. Peace.